Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. A few weeks ago, Ponzi went to the Apple Store and ended up purchasing uh, a program for 50 bucks. And I, 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 I literally, I, I flipped my lid. I said, why are you buying a program off the shelf? I said, at least find out if the program's worth anything. Find, go to the website, download a demo. If they don't even have a demo available, don't buy the software. It's just, that's cr crazy. It's, it's nutty, uh, especially at 50 bucks. And it was, it was screenwriting software, and I got to the, on the web, did a search for uh, alternative green, uh, screenwriting software, uh, specifically for OS X, and ended up finding uh, open source screenwriting software. And uh, I, I'm glad I got it because she hasn't used it since she would have purchased it. She ended, I ended up taking it back before she opened the package to get the money back because that would have been a total waste of money, especially when there's a be there was a better uh, open source version available on the web. So it was free. It didn't cost you a thing. Uh, and even the reviews say that it was better than the package that Ponzi had picked up. So she learned her lesson, uh, from at least from my point of view, never buy software without trying it first. So recently, uh, she knew that she wanted to start doing uh, home inventory. And that would be going around the house, uh, taking pictures of like our televisions and jewelry and all our valuables and our furniture, marking down you know what they are, serial numbers if it's applicable, the value, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And this is done for insurance purposes. Well, you could do this on your own with Notepad uh, and you know taking pictures and keeping them completely unorganized. But that's absolutely chaotic. There's no rhyme or reason. I think someone earlier was saying uh, they used Microsoft Access, which is a database program. So I guess uh, Access is a completely valid way of doing it but I knew there had to be a, a, a better way of, of doing this in general she said you know I looked at all the software out there and number one it was expensive home inventory software is expensive and number two they all look ugly as sin so those are the apparently the two industry prerequisites for home inventory software ugly and expensive uh, that's two big negatives for me so I went out on a, a web journey and uh, said, well, you know, to me, I, I, number one, if I can find something that looks good, I, it doesn't matter to me, the platform, but I would be most happy to find a home inventory, uh, home inventory utility program manager that was open source or cross-platform. Uh, and the reason why is because we may, may not be using Windows forever, or we may not be using Mac OS X forever, but we may have these objects for a lot longer than we might have our operating systems, and you never know when software would be up to date. So ultimately, I, I ran across a, a website, a web service that's free, of all things, that looked okay. I mean, I don't, it, it looked good enough for now, I think. Uh, it's StuffSafe.com. That's StuffSafe.com. You can sign up for an account for free. Uh, I don't know how long they've been around. Uh, I, I'd imagine for well, at least a year, at least according to their blog. And uh, they seem to be supported by Google AdSense, and that's fine by me. Uh, whether it's, uh, yeah, you know, however they want to be supported, I don't have to pay for the thing. And best yet, it's on the web. And that's good for a few reasons. One, well, it's inherently cross-platform. It's on the web. If you can use a web browser, you can get into the data. Uh, number two, imagine if this house was on fire and we couldn't get to our records for insurance to prove what we did. Well, if you have already done home inventory and you haven't uh, taken a copy of that latest home inventory and put it either online or in a safe deposit box or, or whatnot, uh, well, then all that work you did is for naught because if it's sitting on your local computer, which I'm sure most people keep it on, uh, it's useless. And so having it on the web is, is almost that extra level of insurance. Now, I don't know, and I'd only hope that StuffSafe will be around for uh, the foreseeable future, but for now, it's exactly what I wanted. Didn't have to pay a thing to get into it. Uh, it's relatively easy to manage on the, on the back end. Uh, certainly not going to work, I think, as quickly as it might if it was local, like a local program, but it looks a hell of a lot better than a lot of the programs that I would have been forced to pay for in order to use. Uh, you can take pictures, uh, break down inventory reports by room. Uh, you can get a, a value of the room or a value of the house. You can decide to print things out with images, without images. You can export an HTML, Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel. Uh, so you can download the inventory once it's stored. So it's not just residing specifically on that computer, or I'm sorry, on the server or on your local computer, but just kind of 
in the cloud and you can have it anywhere. So if you haven't already thought about doing home inventory, consider it before something bad happens. Uh, and if you have been looking for software, um, you might think about saving yourself a good chunk of change and using this free service. And if anybody else knows of any web hosted or inherently cross platform and or open source home inventory uh, programs or utilities or services, I am looking for recommendations. Uh, now, I don't know if, if either of you two have done much with home inventory software before, but I'd imagine that most people out there watching this video have never even heard of it. Hey, right before we started recording, I asked, what the heck is home inventory? So, hey, it sounds pretty cool. Yeah, I, uh, I basically just looked at it now, and I was, uh, I'm kind of shocked that they have it on the web. I, I'm thinking to myself, you know, we have, we have apartment insurance here. Yep, and, renter's insurance. You know, it works just insurance. as well there. Yes, and Same I'm thing. trying to trying to figure out that why why haven't the insurance companies allowed you to do this online? And this is great because every year we have to give them an update of what's in the home. So this would make it a lot easier once it's on the web. Like you're saying, it's there. You're never going to lose the document. You know, it's in the cloud, and it's just great. So it's a very useful website. I recommend uh, using it. I really do. So uh, yeah, think about it, uh, and uh, you know maybe you. Uh, um Maybe you've already got your favorite program, in, in which case, feel free to recommend it. But if I see a screenshot and I want to puke, uh, I'm going to say, good luck with that program. It's definitely not for me, especially, it doesn't matter, if it, even if it was free. It, ugly, free is still ugly. So <laughs> that's just my opinion. Uh, but looking for any other kind of recommendations. Uh, and by the way, speaking of web and recommendations, uh, make a recommendation for you. If you want to register a domain name, maybe you want to make your own home inventory web service, you can register your domain at godaddy.com and save 10% by using the coupon code CHRIS. And maybe you can register home inventory software sucks.com. And uh, that would be a good domain. I'm sure people are going to check it out and, and probably register it now and then link off to their favorite home inventory programs. You never know. Um, anyway, you can save 10%. That's uh, what GoDaddy's coupon uh, is good for. Uh, and, of course, you're welcome to make recommendations for, you know, as I said, uh, anything else that might be useful in the home, uh, beyond home inventory, software, services. What other programs do you use that help keep your home life organized? I'd be interested in, number one, taking a look and, you know, possibly even using it in my own life. Uh, make a, a comment, suggestions, email me, chris at perillo.com, or swing by the chat room anytime, day or night, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We're talking about things, typically software, or hardware, internet-related technology. Gotta love it. And that uh, chat room is open. It has a flashing neon sign. Well, it's not really flashing, and it's not really neon. Actually, there's no sign at all. But that's at live.perillo.com. See you later.